<laughs> top, top secret. Top secret. It's a good thing we don't live in the same city. We could get into a lot of trouble because <laughs> you're bad. Okay. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my vlog. So today's gonna be a bit of a different vlog. Normally you see me doing behind the scenes, running my business, but actually over the last year, I've been working on this really amazing series of videos uh, called Beyond February. And we've released, I think about four of them so far. This one is about my dear friend Zanina Conde. So I'm so excited for you guys to see it. So we're basically gonna show some behind the scenes. And also I'm gonna talk about my favorite moments when I was uh, doing this episode with Zanina. There you are. I see Hi. you. The capsule that we did with Zanana had so many incredible gems, but we couldn't include everything in this capsule because we're limited to the time. But a story that I found really interesting that really spoke to me was a story that she told how when she was a young girl in elementary school, she was reading a book and she was speaking to her father about this book afterwards. And her father basically was telling her that what she was reading wasn't accurate. And that's honestly the story of so many people in the BIPOC community when they're reading history books that oftentimes stories are, you know, watered down and aren't told properly. So her father taught her a really important lesson and told her instead of just, you know, reading the book and taking it for what it is to just say, according to the text or according to the lecture. And then he basically encouraged her to go and dig deeper and do her own research and learn more. But I really, really thought that was a, you know, a very important lesson to share and I love how she speaks on this in in this capsule I my father would ask me what I was learning and da, 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 and he would read our text there were statements in it and he said this is not true and he, he would talk to me about it and I'd say well dad it's in the textbook it must you know you're a kid you think <laughs> you think that the textbook is 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 telling the truth and um and kids nowadays know better, but we didn't. And so he he said, you will not write this. He said, it is not true. And he said, I said, Dad, you know, here I am thinking, I'm never going to get out of grade five. You know, I'm going to be there for the rest of my life. He finally came up with a way of dealing with it. He said, you will write in your answers according to the text and then write the answer you know that little phrase according to the text has saved me so many times i've generalized it into <laughs> i generalized it into things that i question Aside from filming this capsule, I've had the honor and privilege of meeting up with Zanana on numerous occasions. Uh, and this clip right here is just showing a really fun and cute behind the scenes and shows her, her sweet personality. So I wanted to share this with you. Yep. All recording? Yep. All right. So. What is that? <laughs> it's to sync up with me. <laughs> so, Sorry. So you see the TV shows where they have like <laughs> I said, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I that is all him. That has nothing to do with me. Ah. Every time I have the opportunity to speak to Zanana, I always leave feeling so inspired because she has so many amazing words of wisdom. And in this clip, she's just talking about how knowledge is, is power and how education is so important and not just educating youth, but educating teachers, educating adults, and just knowing, you know, real versions of history so you could really understand uh, the history of, you know, this great nation, Canada. And I just love how she breaks it down in this clip. I, I think it's extremely important for Canadians to know their history relative to the black population, not just black Canadians to know it, but but all Canadians to know that uh, we've been here a long time. The circumstances under which we came, the way we lived for years, and how that has uh, perpetuated itself into what we've become in the society. And uh, I always say that the best way to make sure that uh, the school system 
uh, teaches the wrong things about you or doesn't teach anything about you is to make sure that the teachers don't know. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's true. Mm -hmm. They really don't know our history either. And now it's much more accessible. Knowing builds a sense of strength in individuals. It says, I'm here not just because somebody allowed me to be. I, I fought for this position. I, was born into this mm -hmm. position. I arrived as an immigrant like thousands of others. And therefore I have a right to to make my place mm -hmm. in this in this society. And that's powerful. This is one of the first times that I met Zanana. This was in 2019. And as always, she was just sharing, you know, amazing wisdom. I always have goosebumps when I listen to her speak. I can listen to, to her speak for hours and hours on end. She's just so phenomenal. Um, so I really like this clip. And it's also showing, you know, black girl magic, three strong black women up on stage uh, talking about the work that they do. And we're basically just, you know, acknowledging the work that Zanana does. So I really love this clip. But I, I think that sharing it among each other, putting it out there in social media, is not enough. No. They assume, that many of them mm -hmm. assume, not all, that that will carry the message and therefore it will be acted upon someday, somehow, by someone. That someday is now. Mm -hmm. That someone is you. Every single one of them has to think of a way that they can actively be involved, not just on social media, but by doing something in their own environment outside. And they have to do it, they have to learn to work collectively. In February 2020, I did an event and invited Zanena, and a lot of kids had the opportunity to meet Zanena because she was featured in my book. And she's one of the reasons why I wrote Big Dreamers Volume 1, just because I love her story. I just think she's a phenomenal woman. So it was really sweet to see when the kids had this moment of realization when they saw that the person in their book was sitting right across from them. So I wrote this book a year ago with my friend. And these are people that have inspired me. So these are black Canadians that have done incredible things with their lives. And because of them, we're able to have all these amazing opportunities today. And one of the people in this book who really, really inspires me, her name is Zanena Akande, and she's just over there at the back of the room. So she wanted to come and meet you guys. And then you guys could also have her sign the page over here in the book. You could color in her page. You could ask her any questions that you want. Yeah. She goes to Paris. In Paris? Yeah, I love to get Paris. Oh, Zanena. She's like, it looks like Paris because of her hat. Yeah, I should go put on my hat. Oh, right, yes. Zanena, can you do us the honor and hold up your page? <laughs> So it's clear that Zanena is just a queen. She is incredible, phenomenal. I could go on and on about, you know, how amazing this woman is. It's just always so great spending time with her and learning from her and hearing her stories and just hearing how she overcame adversity. Um, so if you want to learn more about Zanena, you could check out my channel. The playlist is called Beyond February. We'll have the capsule about her posted there. And as always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and have a great day.